He has a thing for things. Please welcome your host, Derek Delgado. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to The Thing Show. Do you know the feeling of pulling up at a deserted intersection? There is literally nobody else, but you have to stop because of that one stop sign. You feel like a complete idiot, right? Tonight, we'll find out if these stop signs are really the bullies we sometimes think they are. In our segment, Things with Dreams, we have a punching bag who's fed up with being whacked by sweaty individuals. I want to fly through the sky like a kite, weightless and free, carried by the wind, the smell of fresh air. We'll check back at the end of the episode to see if our punch bag's dreams will take flight. But first, let's give a warm welcome to tonight's guest, the stop sign. Welcome to the show, stop sign. I don't really like that name. Oh, really? What should I call you then? An invitation for reflection. Um, okay. I don't like the commanding nature of the word stop. I see myself more as an opportunity for drivers to pause and to enjoy a moment of stillness in a world that moves too fast. Wow, I never thought of it like that. Does it work? Do you have that effect on drivers? Not really. Ah. You know, I used to have a lot of anger myself when a driver would ignore my message. But I learned to be mindful of those feelings without passing judgment. So you basically stopped yourself from being angry? In a sense, yes. All right, last time our guest was a traffic cone, and we received some interesting reactions, which we showed to him. Rocket Improv says, nice work. That's great, especially coming from a rocket. The J to the C fan club says, freaky stuff. I guess that's good if you're into freaky stuff. Skinny Hercules says, this definitely exists. Is she talking about me? I mean, I definitely exist, right? Damn it, I should have listened to my buddies. Never read the comments. Don't worry, Traffic Cone. You're about as real as they come. If you want to see the full episode with the Traffic Cone, check out the link in the description. And if you have a message for today's guest, leave a comment below. So, at what point did you decide to become a stop sign? It's not a choice. You're either born with the gift or you're not. The gift of... Stopping things. So it's not people reading the word stop and pulling the brakes? Oh, no. The word is there to make you feel in control. But we're doing the stopping. Wow. Can you show us? Is there anything around here that you can stop for us? The show? The show. That's a great idea. But before you do that, let's see if our punching bag is airborne already. Oh, my God. Get me down. I don't feel so good. <laughs> Relax. Take a deep breath and be mindful in the moment. All right, before we find out if our guest can really stop the show, let's give her a round of applause. The stop sign! Take it away. Three, two, one, stop the show. Wow, you're good. I know. Namaste. Namaste. 